So Chris Thaler is an awesome guy. He's been doing this for, for a very long time now. And really in the B-Spec community, we like to call him the B-Spec guru. Chris here, he's been making sure my car is quick and right for the races coming up. Me, myself, I've been on the simulator every single day for the past couple weeks. And I've been on there memorizing that track like the back of my hand. I was running with SCCA in my, one of my first Spec Miata races and my car had a mechanical failure. But luckily Chris here was there to save the day and let me drive one of his cars in Howard, Oklahoma. Tell him how you did, Charlie. Well, I got third place and it was my first ever podium in that series and my first ever race. So it was a great opportunity and I was like, hey, I better stick with this. I'm pretty good at it. We're getting ready for the biggest race we have all year. Uh, my team and I are taking a total of eight cars up and we'll have ten cars there. So we've got two brand new builds that we're going to debut at Indianapolis, which uh, should be either very well or kind of a mess if we have any, any teething issues with a new car. But um, I'm pretty confident because uh, Charlie here debuted this car at Coda in February and uh, put it on the outside pole and ran second in the race. So I'm hoping we have that kind of luck up at the uh, national championships again. I'm really looking forward to going to IMSA one of these days, hopefully by the end of the year, or SRO. I know I performed great in that series and I'm really pushing myself to get there. For me personally, I would never be here if it wasn't for Chris, and I never would have even gotten started racing if it wasn't for my mom and dad. They've put all their heart and soul into getting me out on track and to get me in a good car, and they really want to see me perform and do well. I'm very, very thankful for them.